good afternoon to you. I am going to play Indoors Around the World, which is a fun GeoGuessr map where all the locations are only inside of things, buildings and libraries and banks. Maybe not banks. You get the picture though. But before I do that, I'd like to show you an image of the biggest room in the world. And that room is located in Washington in the USA and it is the Boeing Everett factory. So this is a factory floor that produces Boeing 747 airplanes. Yeah, it's it's massive. So this building, this factory produces five Boeings a month, which seems excessive. <laughs> why are these single use jumbo jets or why do we need so many? I guess they must be decommissioning these planes at the same rate or I don't know, maybe I have a really, yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, some interesting facts about this room. So it has six doors and each door is 5,000 square meters in size, which is the equivalent of the, the surface area of the White House or, or the, the area of an American football field. Apologies for the American examples, but an Australian football field is way bigger than that. But a football field sized door, that's just, that's massive. Anyway, another interesting fact about this factory, this room, this massive room, is that the volume of this build, this room is 13 million cubic meters, which is the equivalent of 33 billion cans of baked beans. All right, so now that we've learned about this incredible building, let's play Indoors Around the World, which I haven't had great success with in the past. That's okay, we're not gonna allow any moving. Let's begin. So we've arrived in a religious structure of some kind, I think. Let's get our bear bearings. So we're up in the, well, I don't know what they call this part, the viewing, the viewing platform, looking down on, yeah, the altar, I don't know, I'm from a fairly secular family. So, what can we gather from this location? Got a woman in a cape over here, and we've got the cool coloured windows it's quite small for a for a church this cabinet has some interesting styling kind of looks like brat dragon skin or something similarly with this i mean gosh there's just so many <laughs> churches around the world all right i've got a bit of art up here i think i'm just going to pick somewhere in south america they have a lot of churches jesus is a really big deal there okay yeah, I, th I think this is, that's an appropriate guess, but check out this roof though. This kind of reminds me of an American roof, maybe? Based on literally nothing. Okay, let's just go for somewhere in South America and we'll go, we'll just go somewhere around here. Mm, yeah, in Wilhelm. Ooh, at least we got Brazil right. That's something, but it was all the way down here in... Rio Grande, which is in, yeah, south of Rio de Janeiro. Okay, next round. Only 1,000 points. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so next location. This looks like Germany to me. But before I... Let's have a look here. Do you regard on such loud footsteps out there we got here all right now i've probably i'm probably going to change my mind about this one wait a second bus sur actually i think this might be in bolivia i think what is this on the tv here not a lot radio taxi salida yeah i'm gonna go bolivia and let's have a look out here first this actually looks like yeah what does it look like does this look like i'm gonna guess somewhere like sucra or yeah i'm gonna guess sucra i think it looks like bolivia it could be peru it could be 
Hold on a second. These people, well, they just look like tourists, really. But Salida, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Either Sucre or Potosi. I think Sucre is a pretty good guess. Oh, I could be, yeah, well, I always could be wrong, right? I don't know, can't be bothered looking for the bus stop, but let's go there. Ah, damn it, it was silly. But it looked like a South American bus stop. I think all the puffer jackets and coats should have been my tip off there, but to be fair, Sucre gets really cold. All right, it's the altitude, you know? Whoa, okay, we have arrived in a bathroom. Now, <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Got a little safe here. You could probably just pick that up and take the belongings with you. No smoking sign. What else, what else, what else? This bathroom's kind of got that like, <laughs> Eastern European weirdness about it. Maybe, let's see. Mm, maybe. Let's look at what's down here. Lux. Mm, that's a pretty universal soap uh, brand. PowerPoint would have been great. Press. No shit. Uh, maybe not. What have we got here? Just a regular toilet. How is this? Oh, this is just the bathroom. Why would you bother taking this photo? I think. Actually, what's this say down here? In oh. Indoorview.ch. Mm, interesting. Well, .ch is the country code for Chile, is it not? I think, unless it's Chechia. No, that's CZ. So it isn't Eastern Europe, after all. Actually, Eastern Europe wouldn't have an attached. Oh no, here it is. Here. Okay. There's no text to give me any clues other than this down here, which is indoorview.ch. I'm going to assume it means Chile. Looks like a small bathroom, so perhaps we're somewhere populated, like a city setting, an apartment setting, so we'll go somewhere in. But yeah, we'll go somewhere in Santiago. I'll just pick a hotel. Could you imagine if I picked the right one? No, they're hospitals, not hotels. Come on. Where is our hotel? Do they not put hotels on the map? Uh, whatever, I'll just go here. Mm, damn it. What was the CH then? That was extremely misleading. I hate looking at those names. They often are just... Yeah, they, they're stupid. They don't... They stitch you up. False clues. Should have stuck with... Well, I wasn't going to go there, to be fair, but whatever. All right, this is my kind of indoor room. We've got a nice pie, peach pie. We've got some pastries, some booze. What more could you want? Another setting here. What? Wi-Fi, yada yada. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Good friends, good wine, good times. And we've got... Oh, we've got a massive douchebag up here. That's who I think it is. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Big douche. Okay. What else do we have? A menu. This will help. Saint. Hmm. Doesn't help that much, does it? <laughs> what have we got here? Moscow Mule, Dark and Stormy, Silent Pool Gin, yikes, okay, what's this say up here, something something, E-R-I-A, what's this guy eating, he's got a bowl of soup or beans or something, this is a menu that I, I can't, can't read, I really don't know about this one, but I guess it kind of looks... Well, there's a lot of English around. Wi-Fi. I guess somewhere in Spain. I think. Let's do it. Saint Germain. That kind of sounds French though too. Let's go south of. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go south of France. 
Oh, it was. That's good. Not too shabby, I guess, there. Phew, quickly skipped that last round. All right, we're on the last one. Ooh, I better hurry because the the footy's about to start, or has started. We're in a, yeah, a shoe shop or a men's clothing store. And it looks just so... Not necessarily just a men's clothing store, but anyway, what have we got around here? I don't know, hey, this looks like... Whoa, this mannequin's had the time of it. I think this is going to be in Africa. Just, I don't know why. Maybe a few of the articles of clothing make me think that. Maybe. Does it say something, something, something? Yeah, I am going to guess... Should I? Oh no, that's not in an African language. Oh, all right, I think I'm wrong. Unless that's just an exception, like lots of things are made in different places. Adidas, what is this even? Is this a vacuum? No, it's like a, a steamer. Wow, I really want to pick Africa, but now I'm not so sure. Wow, I'm not so sure. Shit. Whoa, this is a very pro provocative po po. What about this though? Who would wear this? Oh, there's people out here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with Africa. I saw some people who were African in appearance, I think. Let's go somewhere in, hmm, it's gonna be further north. I'm gonna go here in Kampala. And there, that's it. Ooh, received a new badge, Master Explorer. I'll take that, thank you. And check out this guess. It was actually in Rwanda, but Far out. That was awesome. Let's check out the summary. I had a pretty good <laughs> round, I think. Two pretty tricky South America guesses. This terrible one where I misidentified, like I, I saw that country code and just, yeah, I made a terrible mistake. But check out this Africa guess. This guess in the south of France. Chef's kiss to that. Who gives a shit about the rest of them? Anyway, until next time. See you later.